क्या आप या आपके परिवार में कोई डायबिटिक है जानिए भारत के प्रसिद्ध डायबिटीज स्पेशलिस्ट से कि डायबिटीज को कैसे करें मैनेज सीधे अहमदाबाद से जहां देश विदेश के 5000 डायबिटीज एक्सपर्ट्स एकत्रित हुए हैं डायबिटियोलॉजिस्ट डॉक्टर्स की एनुअल कॉन्फ्रेंस आर एस एस डी में बाईस ऐसी पच्चीस नवम्बर दो हजार तक लॉग इन करें फेसबुक पेज डायबिटीज आरोप चर्चा पे पब्लिक अवेयरनेस इनिशियटिव बाई एप का लेबोरेटरी लिमिटेड वी हैव विद डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर ए जे असिरवाथम फ्रॉम मदुरई ही इज अ पाइनरियन डायबिटोलॉजिस्ट इन मदुरई विथ थ्री डिकेड्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ही इज एस्टैब्लिश्ड ही हैड एस्टैब्लिश्ड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डायबिटोलॉजी इन मदुरई मेडिकल कॉलेज ही बिलीव्स इन एजुकेटिंग पेशेंट्स ही इज एन एक्मेडिशियन ही इज अ गुड टीचर सो वेलकम डॉक्टर ऑन डायबिटीज पर चर्चा एंड टूडे ऑल्सो यू विल बी गोइंग टू एजुकेट आर डायबिटीज पेशेंट्स generally diabetes patients they are not aware that diabetes can also cause foot complications so if you can tell our patients what kind of foot complications can occur during diabetes that will be very helpful for them oh yes in diabetic patients foot problems are dangerous problems they may claim a toe or a foot or even a life and the good news about it is that if you are well versed with the information how to protect it we can definitely prevent this complication from every diabetic patient and real evidence is that i run a diabetes education group from 1991 onwards and in this group we have around 300 members every time and here we have never had more than two amputations since 1991 till date this tells you that the patients when they are aware and behave in a responsible manner you could definitely prevent this particular complication the question is that how could they prevent it doesn't cost anything any money but real time as well as their involvement and motivation they have to do certain things and should not do certain things the do's are wash their feet every day wipe it with a towel and apply powder over the inter uh, toe or the digits or what you call the web spaces and probably apply a vaseline or a moisturizing cream at least once a week they should never ever walk barefoot they should always have a microcellular polymer or in the cheaper ones or microcellular rubber slippers or shoes and this will definitely be very helpful to prevent any type of ulcers or injury to their foot they should not smoke they should not sit with a crossed leg they should not wear a tight socks and don't wear a new slipper throughout try to give it a little bit of intermittent usage that will also be helpful to prevent injury there are certain things they should also be very careful they should wear a cotton socks and look at their feet every day that's the most important message that i would like to share with any patient for that matter sometimes diabetic patients are quite obese they may not be able to see the sole of their foot maybe they may require assistance of a mirror or probably a spouse could definitely help them out so when they have this and they take care of the feet it is a very simple affair of some spending some 10 minutes every day and that is going to give them a very good dividend of a healthy foot and once they are having a healthy foot rest of the complications could always be prevented or probably even very well managed the problem with diabetic foot is that if a person lies down with an ulcer he loses lot of man days he cannot work he cannot earn and there is no package also very often you have a package for bypass you have a package for kidney transplant whereas here it is endless it goes on and on and on so any small ulcer if you identify any red area which you see on inspection has to be seriously viewed and definitely see a doctor never do any self surgery of cutting a corn or so and while cutting the nails in the feet it should be cut with a nail cutter and probably you can even use a magnifying lens which will also be very helpful to avoid injury to the nail bed so if you take care of these simple steps we could definitely avoid diabetic foot problems so now doctor we are talking about curing of foot and or other things so the theme of idf is diabetes and family so in your opinion what do you think what is the role of family for a diabetes patient yeah diabetes as you know is a genetic disorder and hence 
whenever a person has diabetes, his siblings, probably his children, would definitely develop diabetes later on, or probably would have developed diabetes which are not identified. So screening of family members is very, very important. So I have been doing family member screening from 1991. So every new diabetic patient would bring all his family members and we used to do a blood sugar check once on that particular occasion. If they have a normal blood sugar, they go home. If they have a blood sugar which is high, they are given the choice of meeting any diabetic specialist for their management. So diabetes here as a family is a liability. And the next is the family which is going to be contributory to the diabetic. So as you know, for motivation of a diabetic patient, the family members stay a very pay a major role. Another thing is diet, particularly the dietary complaints comes from the family. If everybody takes biryani sitting in the same table this much, then probably the diabetic patient will also be tempted to take all sorts of food. A healthy diet for all the family members would definitely be motivating for the patient and helping him to adhere to the normal diet at the same time that would be very useful for the family members also. So in that way, a healthy diet in the family is going to be useful. A good exercise, maybe a single treadmill at home would be able to share this particular concept of exercise to every member of the family. And all these things require little more motivation. If not today, if he has missed his exercise today, somebody should remind him and get, him, get it done. So an exercise, a diet life, diet, and the last component of the family is that not to give him a lot of stress. So every disease is stress-based. So if you are able to alleviate him of his stress by a good attachment, attached and affectionate family, probably that gives him a lot of uh, serenity and that is will not worsen his diabetes control. So family plays a very important role in exercise, in the diet and the stress management and the, these are the lifestyle measures that a person has to do. So I would always say, if a person is good at all these factors, that means he has got a very good family backing. If he is very poor in any of these things, probably he has not got any of the family members supporting him to do it. Because all these things really require a joint effort. So probably this is the best thing which I would rather really enjoy in a diagnosis of diabetes. Whereas if it's going to be a tuberculosis or something else or an infective disease, you just gulp a tablet or have an injection. Whereas here, it's lifestyle, and the lifestyle has to be for lifelong. So family is a very important role, plays a very important role in the diagnosis, in the management of diabetes. Thank you, doctor. Thank you for giving the information to our patients, how they can take care of, of their food to prevent any kind of complications, and how a family plays a role in the life of a diabetes patient, so that they can, they can stay happy and healthy. Thank you for coming Thank on you. Diabetes Project. Thank you very much. Thank you.